Mr. Chief Justice, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today for a ceremony in which we will have sworn in the first head of a new agency. I think we have here the best man for this new job that we could find. Right, William D. Ruckelshaw, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Well, yeah, I used to say facetiously that my greatest accomplishment was twice having avoided indictment before I left uh, EPA. <laughs> you mentioned the whole litany of things that led to the creation of EPA in the first place. I mean, we really had gross pollution problems in those days. Charlie Brown. It's no fun out there in all that litter. There was a necessity uh, for the government at the time to show that it was serious about dealing with pollution problems, that the federal government was willing to step in where obviously the almost total delegation of the states and local governments uh, up prior to 1970 uh, hadn't gotten the job done. Where we have found real sustained success is where there are strong citizen organizations. Establishing that framework, uh, convincing, uh, I think, any, any uh, fair-minded person that the government was serious about it, was a necessary thing to do in the early days of the agency, and I think we accomplished that. Uh, the second time, essentially, it was uh, restoring morale, and uh, I, think, uh, I think that happened as much because of the inherent buoyancy of the people of EPA as, uh, as my return, but that also was... Uh, was, I think, something I feel proud of. <laughs>